As soon as the polls opened, voters in this largely immigrant community started showing up. Their views on the presidential candidates are as diverse as the population here. I'm strongly in favor of Trump. I feel like he's going to make a difference in the world. I vote for Hillary Clinton. She's a better one, so I vote for her. Raymond Lee cast his vote reluctantly. People of China, Middle East, all laughing at to say, is this your kind of democracy? Look at the people you, you, you nominate for president. They have no respect for us anymore. America's at crossroad right now. There's so much divisions in, in the society. We still have a large segment of uh, the population that's uneducated, that's ill-informed, that could be manipulated. To make sure voters are informed, Asian Americans Advancing Justice California has poll monitors at 900 polling places across the state. California has more than 2.6 million eligible voters who are not fully proficient in English, according to Asian Americans Advancing Justice LA. The civil rights group finds that 47 percent of the electorate with English language difficulties are naturalized citizens. One third of all Asian Americans have some difficulty speaking English, and so that's why we know that language assistance at the polling place is so important. The group has printed flyers in 13 languages to explain what to expect on election day and report any problems in the voting process and to ensure limited English speakers do not face discrimination. Poll monitor Eddie Hu is making sure translated materials are present and bilingual poll workers are available to answer questions. When we're monitoring the polls, we want to make sure there aren't any barriers or language is not an obstacle for voters with a limited understanding of English. Many of the new immigrants and the elderly are not proficient in English. Jeff Chang says he read the materials in English and Chinese. The Mandarin translation was awful. It was, no, it's no good. Definitely didn't get the meaning. Yeah, English is uh, well, it's hard to understand. All right, but uh, you have to make yourself understand that to make a right choice. Chang says he's still glad different languages are options for the many voters for whom English is not their first language. Elizabeth Lee, VOA News, San Gabriel Valley, California.